Hello mga kawamat! In this video lesson, we'll discuss calculating the person sample correlation coefficient using calculator. But before we proceed to our discussion, please don't forget to like this video lesson and subscribe na rin kayo. Person sample correlation coefficient, also known as person R, denoted by R, is a test statistic that measures the strength of the linear relationship between two variables. So, using this formula, so kung manually natin i-compute yung person R, uh, ito yung gagamitin natin formula. So, yan ay na-discuss naman natin dun sa previous video lesson kung paano tayo nag-compute manually using this formula. But this time, uh, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano uh, makuha yung value ng R using the calculator na hindi na tayo gagamit nitong formula. Kasi ma- uh, kung nagmamadali tayo, o let's say may meron kang tatlo o hanggang limang uh, problem na isosolve, matagal, no? It takes time para makuha mo yung value ng R. So ngayon, tuturo ko sa inyo using the Casio FX991ES. So mura na lang ito ngayon, dati 1,000 plus. Pero ngayon nasa 800 na lang ata ito. So for example, a statistics professor at State University wants to see how strong the relationship is between a student's score on a test and his or her grade point average. So the data obtained from the sample follow. So the test score, so we're going to test the kung meron bang relationship between the test score and the uh, general point average. So using the calculator, so ang gagawin lang natin, so ang x natin dito is the test score. And yung y natin is the uh, grade point average. So first, okay, using our Casio FX991ES, so pindutin nyo lang yung mode. And then piliin natin yung, uh, so ilabas ko muna lahat. Ito yung steps na susundan natin. No? Okay, piliin yung mode. So lalabas ito. And then uh, i-click nyo yung 3. And after that, yung 2, yung A plus BX. And then, enter na natin yung uh, data natin. For X, so 98. Kung gamit yung calculator para mag-enter, equals yung pipindutin nyo. Okay, 98 plus, uh, 98, 105, 116 and 112. Okay. So, next naman, para makapunta tayo sa Y, may encode nyo yung Y. So, yung arrow right, ito lang pipindutin nyo. Then, uh, up. Yung arrow up natin. Okay. So, we'll enter lang ulit natin yung value ng Y natin, which is the grade point average. So, 2.1. 2.4, uh, 3.2, 2.7, and 2.2, 2.3, 3.8, and 3.4. So, after natin ma-enter yung data natin sa X and Y, so, click lang natin yung AC, ito ito. And then, yung shift, then number 1. So, yung number 1 yung may nakalagay na stat. 1. And then, pipiliin natin dito yung 5. Okay? Yung 5, yung regression. So, 5. And then, since kinukuha natin yung correlation R natin. Okay? So, yung R natin, pipiliin yung 3. Then, equals. Okay? So, ibibigay na sa atin yung value ng R. So, without using nung napakahabang formula, Using the Casio FX991ES, no, uh, pwede na natin makuha yung value ng correlation natin, o yun yung R natin. So, that is 0 0.72. Okay? So, ibig sabihin yan, the correlation coefficient suggests a strong positive relationship between the test score and the grade point average. So, kung mataas yung score, so mataas yung makukuha niyang average. So, kung mababa ang makukuha ang score, mababa rin ang makukuha niyang grade point average. So, ganun yung uh, positive correlation, right? So, next. Uh, for example, number 2, T 
teachers of Pag-asa National High School instilled among their students the value of time management and excellence in everything they do. The table below shows the time and hours spent in studying, so denoted as X, by 6th grade 11 students and their score in a test, which is denoted our, that is our Y, solved for the person's sample correlation coefficient. So, yung X natin dito is the hours spent in studying and yung Y is their scores. Okay, using the calculator, so kunin natin, makukuha natin yan. Since dito, naka, ano na tayo, naka-set up na sa stat. Okay, naka-set up na tayo sa stat. Sige, balikan na lang natin ulit yung ano nyo. So, sundan nyo lang ulit itong steps natin. No? Piliin yung stat. Although, naka-mode na tayo kanina ng stat. And then, 2. So, enter ulit natin yung data ng X and Y. So, 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Then arrow right Arrow up Para ma-enter natin yung 1 Ay, yung value ng Y 5, 10 10, 15 25 And 30 So, again Click AC Shift Then 1 Choose 5 And choose 3 so, the value of R is equal to 0 0.96. So, 0 0.96. So, when we're going to interpret the value of R, the value of R is a positive number. Therefore, we can say accurately that there is a positive correlation between R spent in studying and their score in a test. So, tama yan, no? Kung, kung ilang oras lang, let's say, hindi ka nag-review, so ano ang magiging... Uh, result niyan sa magiging result ng test mo. Siyempre, mababa rin kasi di ka pa nagkapag-aral. Pero kapag uh, naglaan ka ng oras, naglaan ka ng mahabang oras para sa pagre-review, of course, makakuha ka rin ng mas mataas na course. Pas possible na mataas yung makakuha mo scores. So, parang dependent. Yung scores natin doon sa our spends in studying. Okay, another example. So, in, prepare, in preparation for the coming board meeting, the management of ABC Fashion collected the monthly advertising expenses and sales for the past 12 months. What can you say about the relationship between the advertising expenses and sales of the company? So, retires. Piliin natin ulit yung stat. And number 2, encode natin yung data natin. 15, 18, 20, 24. So, yung X natin dito is yung advertising expenses. 16, 26, 10, 10. Okay, so, uh, 16, 11, 38, 36, and 32. Then again, our right para pumunta tayo dun sa una, ma-enter natin yung value ng y. So 21, 27, 20, 28. Okay, 20, 28, 17, 31, 7, 14, 14. 34, 39, and 31. Okay. So, click AC. Okay. Open natin yung AC dyan. Then, shift. And then, 1. Piliin yung 5. And then, 3. Equals. So, the answer is 0 0.91. So, the answer is 0 0.91. We can say that there is a very high positive correlation between the advertising expenses and sales of the company. Okay, so meaning, uh, of course, uh, may positive impact you know, yung advertising expenses dun sa kikitain ng company. So, kagaya ng isang product, nagkakaroon sila ng mga advertisement, panghikayat, no? nanghihikayat ng customer. So, of course, tataasin ngayon yung sales ng company. 
Okay, so ganito lang yung gamit ng, uh, ito yung uh, way natin para makuha natin yung value ng R natin using the calculator without using nung formula natin. So, na, pwede pa rin naman gamitin yung formula if ever na wala tayong ganitong calculator. Or pwede rin naman kayo mag-download sa uh, App Store. Marami doon mga scientific calculator which is uh, pwede itry nyo. Baka pwedeng explore nyo yun at makuha rin yung value ng R. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your Wow Math channel.